Hola, buenas noches a todos. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches, compañeros. Good evening, partners. Maestro, este día voy a estar solamente de oyente. Ajá. Perdón, ¿quién me dijo eso? No, no estaba viendo acá. Glenda Margarita Ortiz, de Cobanes. Ah. Ok, Glenda. Uh, let's see what in your phone. Let me see. Okay, okay. Y Cheri, ¿por qué los gringos ponen la fecha al revés? Ponen primero el mes y después la, el día. Hey, nunca le habían preguntado eso. No. You know, they are the only ones. Son, son los únicos. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Es que está viendo el reloj yo y, y tiene al revés también esto. 11-14 dice, pero creo que es la, la fecha gringa. Que es 14. Sí. Uh -huh. Algunos. Uh, algo leí un día sobre eso. Eh, Creen que es. Con tal de, eh, de. No ser como los británicos. Mm. Ah, ok. Porque no querer se parece. Sí, los británicos usan el, el tema como nosotros. El timón también lo usan al revés. En el lado de derecho. Ah, sí. <risa> Las calles Pero son sí, británicos. Pero si todo, si todo lo de los gringos es copia de los británicos, porque allá en Inglaterra hay un York, hay un, un quiero ver cuál otro, hay un New England. New England, y está la otra de New England. New, hay New un Orleans. 
New Orleans. Orleans. Ajá. New York. Está Yorkshire. Es una raza de, de cerdos. También que se originó ahí en Inglaterra. Yorkshire. Pues sí. Todos esos. Pero sí, son los únicos los gringos que, que usan la fecha. Al revés. ¿No? Que la leen diferente. Uh -huh. Okay, people, it's time. <gasps> Let's get started tonight. Let's see. We're going to start with the first attendance of the evening. Oh, please, cameras on and respond. Okay. <clears throat> Calentando <Alex>. motores. <laughs> Alex Gerardo Peña. Present. Very good. Welcome. Uh, Ana Celia Mena. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Marcela Siu. Uh, has some difficulties. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Okay, welcome. Okay. Byron Jose Villanueva. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Blanca Isabel Tunaka. Present. Edgar Eduardo Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Okay. Okay. Ivan Alberto Castillo. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Good. Welcome. Miguel Angel Romero. Present. Okay, welcome. Oscar Rene Molina. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Rafael Antonio Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Okay. And Sandra Yanira Gómez. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, well, last class, uh, we studied a little bit about the simple past. Yeah. Um, well. Before we continue with the with less with lesson three or lesson four actually, I would like to practice a little bit more some exercises about simple past. Okay. And I have here some. Let's start with this one. Easy one. Let me share here the link for you. Okay, there you have. Look at that link, please, and you will you will get to this 
pay. Okay. Past simple or simple past. Okay, grammar quiz. The first part says answer these 16 questions to score your knowledge of past simple grammar. You have to choose the correct answer for to complete or the correct words to complete the sentences properly, okay? The first part, you have this, oh, this is simple, it's just, it's only one. Okay. So I will give you a few, few minutes to do it individually. So remember, when you finish, you can get your evaluation. Okay, you can get your the results. So you click here, terminado, and comprobar mis respuestas. You are going to get your result. Okay, please. Work on that. When you finish, raise your virtual hand to let me know that you are done. Qué molesta esta señora. 
No quiere estar respondiéndola. Ella se equivoca, frate. Cree que uno está disponible siempre. ¿Quién? Celia se llama. Take boat. Teacher. Yes. Fíjense que en la número 6, cuando aprieto una de las opciones, me redirige a otra página y no me deja marcarla. Es la no de DIP, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? No me deja, me manda a otra página. Tampoco te va a dejar en la 9. En la o sea que la tengo que poner mal. Me imagino si sus cosas. Number six. No sé por qué. No se vale, eso es trampa. Y en la nueve, si quieres no, poner el top, eh, te manda también para atrapar. Ah, pues no la voy a contestar. No, six is good. No, también a mí me manda. Me manda otra cosa. A mí me redirecciona. Ah, porque es la A, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 me rendí otra cosa. Mm. ¿Estás seguro? Sí. Lo Póngale no WAS. En WAS no, va, no lo va a mandar a otra página. No, pues claro, pero está mal. Teacher, en la... En está mal la, entonces con WAS. En la actual, si usted le presiona sobre HAS TO, lo direcciona para otra página también. En la vieja igual. Es lo manda a hacer la homework. <ríe> en la 8 también me redirecciona. Eh. Solo por eso no me voy a poder sacar 10. But you are. Uh, clicking the wrong answer. The correct answer doesn't give any problem. You, in all those exercises, you are clicking the wrong answer. No es necesario mandar la nota, ¿verdad, teacher? No. Sí.
Ya, teacher. Siete me saqué. <ríe> Salí Ay. malo ahí. O quizá la computadora se equivocó ahí. Ah, es que lo direcciona uno para que lo haga mal. Sí, teacher, puede ser eso, que me esté tomando alguna que esté mala y, y, y está buena. Pues siempre pasa eso, teacher. Yeah, sometimes. Let me, let me see. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Padre bendito, estoy leyendo que dice curso de nivel sexto grado de edad entre 10 a 17 años y me saqué bien mala nota. Ay, no, teacher. Okay, let's check your work. Let's do it together. Okay, first. So the exercise is good, you see? Ten out of ten. Así está bien. Salen bien. You need the correct answers. But um, a ver, vamos a vamos a estudiar. Hay cosas que ya las vimos en el en el Hey, excellent. Yo adiviné ah, todas, teacher. Hey, comprar la lotería, tener suerte, sea pura adivinanza. Vamos a ver. Let's do it again. Okay. Number one, my family and I, A, B, or C? Letter A. Letter B. Lim. Letter, letter, a, letter a. a. Letter A, yes. My family and I lived in London when I was young. Number two, A, B, or C? Letter C. Letter C. 
We bought some sandwiches and fresh fruit to eat for lunch. Yes. Yesterday. Okay. Number three. A ver, aquí hay cascarita. A, B, or C? A. No, esa yo así la puse. Letter A. Three is A. Three is A. Yes. Three is A. Letter A. C. They wanted to see a movie, but there were no more tickets. They wanted to see. Number four. A, B, or C. B. Letter B. Letter B. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. Number five. A, B, or C. B. Letter B. He didn't see me because I was behind the tree. Negative. Number six. A, B, or C? B. Where? Correct. Were you a good student in school? Yes, I was. Number seven, A, B, or C? Letter C. A. C. When it's a question. When did they fly back to their country? When did they fly back to their country? Number eight, A, B, or C? C. Okay. Eight is C. Eight C, yes. Yes. Number nine. <laughs> Number nine, A, B, or C. The question. B. Letter B. B. Number 10, A, B, or C? Letter A. See, we had a great time and we, yes, yes. letter A. We did. Uh -huh. 11. Letter A. Didn't. Didn't. Well. T. Letter C. Have to. Yeah. C. 13. Letter B. Letter Go. B. Fourteen. Letter A. Where? Hmm. Fifteen. Wasn't letter C. And 16. Letter A. Letter A. Okay, let's confirm. Perfect. Okay. Any question, people? Here we have a 
sentences with uh, the verb be in past. Uh, for example, number six. Yeah. Number six is the verb be. Were you a good student in school? Yes, yes I was. What is where? Where is the past of R? Yes. Where you is the past of R you? Okay. Were you a good student in school? Fuiste. Verbo ser, no? A good student in school? Yes, I wow. The same with exercise 14. The past of R, the past of the verb B. Were they late or on time yesterday afternoon? Ellos eh, eh, tuvieron ¿no? tarde o a tiempo ayer por la tarde. Where? The same here is the verb be. She didn't answer the phone because she wasn't at home. Ella no respondió el teléfono porque no, ella no estaba. She wasn't. No estaba en casa. Es el pasado del verbo be. Number 16. Es, también es el pasado del verbo to be, ¿verdad? Were they tired after the long trip? ¿Estaban ellos cansados después del largo viaje? Yes, they were. Sí, estaban. En este ejercicio hemos combinado también recordando the verb be, the past form of the verb be. Just remember, just to remind you, the past form of am and is, is, was. The past form of are. is where okay recuerdan eso so ya en el pasado se escribió para recordarles esto verdad en parte del simple past es el pasado del verbo to be Any question about the exercise? Claro. Well, simple past. Remember, in affirmative sentences, you are going to use the past form of the verb. My family and I lived. London. We bought some sandwiches. The past form of the verb. We did lots of fun. Uh, Had to, tuvo que, pasado. They flew back. So in affirmative sentences, we use the verb in past. In questions, we use the verb in the base form. When did they fly back? Questions. In negative sentences, we use the verb in the base form. He didn't see me.
Okay. Now, this is a review for the simple past. Well, since you don't have questions, let's practice a little bit more. Okay, in this exercise, let me share the link. You are going to write affirmative, negative, and questions. Affirmative, negative, and questions. Look, the example. Use past simple forms of the verbs. Same songs, watch TV last week. Affirmative, same songs, watch TV last week. The past form, watch. Negative, same songs, didn't watch TV last week. Didn't watch. Interrogative, did Simpsons watch TV last week? That's the way to make a question. Then exercise A, you're going to use the verb tidy. Exercise B, the verb sleeve. Exercise, exercise, exercise C, the verb talk. And the second part, Write the verbs in the past simple. Completar, complete the sentences using the verb in past simple. Some of them are questions. Some are negative. Negative, negative. Question, negative, negative. The link is in the chat. I'm going to put you in groups to work together. Go to your groups and work together on that exercise, okay? Practice sentences in the single.
big lights. My brother didn't water the plants yesterday. You did you did you didn't study for the test? It rained a lot last night. Did she try her new dress on? The field under late yesterday. Teacher, terminamos. Okay, perfect. See you in a moment. Perma. Bueno, dele terminado mejor. <risa> arriba, aquí. Arriba, dele hasta arriba, como que va a abrir una nueva, pero a la par, en vez del más, en medio. Ah, aquí, le doy clic derecho. No, a la, más en, me, en medio de la ventana. A, en, ahí. Más a su izquierda, a la izquierda, a la izquierda, a la izquierda. De la izquierda. No, okay. ahí, no. Ah, ahí, ahí. Dele clic derecho. Duplicar. No por eso. ¿Cómo no? Mire, ahí está. Ay, apareció vacío, pues no nos sirve de nada. Uh -huh. Ah, pues dele de nuevo la ventana que teníamos. Y vaya, Ahí terminado. Está. Vamos a ver. Terminado. Crucen los dedos. Pues. Ta, 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 ta. Cuela. Cuela. <risa> ocho de diez. Ocho, ocho de diez. Veamos. Veamos que salimos mal. Aquí Pueden la... poner la pantalla ey, grande. Ey, pero todas. Sí. Pero, Quiero ver si se puede ver completa. No creo. No, no se puede. Ahí está toda. Vaya. O sea, ¿a dónde le doy para que se vea toda? No, ya le hice capturas. Ah, va. Eso no Vaya aquí. Trabajo. Vaya. Lo... No Ey, pero en la primera parte sí todas tenemos buenas. Sí, todas están buenas. Uh -huh. En esta, ¿qué nos pasa? Listo. Okay. Yo creo que no va a sacar. Uh -huh. Hey, pretty good. Okay, let's check. Number one, my sister. Tidy it. Tidy it. Tidy it. Okay, her room yesterday. Number two, my sister. Negative. Didn't. Didn't. Didn't tidy. tidy, no sé. Didn't. Mm -hmm. Tidy. 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 And number three. Did, did your did. sister tidy? 
her room yesterday. Okay. Size B, number one, we. We live. Lived. We live. London, London last summer. summer. Number two. We didn't live. Okay. Number three. Did you live in London last summer? Exercise C, number one, Sandra and Elsa. Talk it. Talk. Number two, Sandra and Elsa. Didn't talk. Didn't talk. Uh -huh. And number three. Did Sandra and Elsa talk on the phone last night? Last night. Okay. Exercise two. Number one. She. Waiter. Wait. Bus. Today invited. I did. One I. We didn't leave. We then leave. Four. A question. Did you did like? We we did you like the. Feel last night. Uh -huh. Five negative. We didn't visit. We didn't visit. Our friends on a Monday. Yes. Six question. Did your Did grandpa, your grandpa dance, dance at the party? At the party. Seven, the bus. Stop it. The bus is top it at the traffic light. Right. Great, my brother. My brother didn't, didn't water. Didn't water, Max. Number nine, you, you didn't, didn't study. study. Yes, number 10, it, it rained. Rained. Rained a lot last night. 11. Did she try to try dress on? Yes, 12, the film. The film ended late yesterday. 13 children. And? 13. Children. Ah, uh, the, the film. Indeed. Uh, okay. Children. Work. 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 To. Work. 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 He didn't, he didn't work work because he was too tired. Was too tired. Yeah. Perfect. Teacher attendance. Sure. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, well, any question here? Not teacher. Alex Gerardo Piña. Ana Celia Mena. Present. Present. Ana Maria Marcelo Siu. No. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Iron Jose Villanueva. Present teacher. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Edgar Eduardo García. Present teacher. 
Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present teacher. Okay. Hey, Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Sandra Yanira Gómez. Present teacher. Ok. So, I want you to write some sentences about your weekend. So, I want you to write sentences about what you did during this weekend. Ok. Saturday, Sunday. Um, I want five affirmative sentences, five things you did this weekend. Real information. Okay, tell us. Um, for example, on Saturday, uh, I went for lunch with, with my wife. And in the afternoon, I went to the I went shopping for food on Sunday. Uh, I went to, the, to church. After church, uh, we went to a restaurant to have lunch. In the afternoon, I watched the, uh, the final of soccer or football, Salvadorian football, that, that's me, okay? Then I want you to write five sentences about things you didn't do on the weekend. Five things you didn't do. Well, I didn't go to the movies. I didn't visit a friend. Uh, I didn't play video games. I didn't play video games. Okay, five things you didn't do. All right. Cinco y end of pasado, presente y futuro. No. Ah, sí, es interrogativa, afirmativa y negativa. Affirmative and negative. Five, affirmative, five, negative. De lo que nosotros hicimos el fin de semana. Yes. Teacher sería I did a play video o sería solo I did play, play video game. Hmm. Affirmative sentences. Mm -hmm. formamos affirmative sentences, people? Help me, please. Ah, como digo yo que videojuegos. I played a video game. Ah. ah. Did you play a game videos? Como digo, yo jugué videojuegos. Mm. 
played video game.
Okay, two, two minutes. No, but teacher, I'm going to finish the affirmation. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Quickly. Okay, I'll send you in groups for a moment just to talk. So share your sentences, share your your activities for the for the weekend. Okay, and then we'll come back to talk about that. Hey, go to your group. Oh, you're not ah, oh, you're not in a group. Why? No sé, eso me quedé esperando. <laughs> Okay, uh, and you here.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, quickly tell me three things. Three things you did last weekend. Okay, only three things you did last weekend. Let's start with Miguel. Quickly, please. Miguel. Uh, I cut my hair last week. I didn't oh. cut my hair last week. Did I cut my hair last week? Okay, okay, okay. Sandra. I did do my homework work over the weekend. Uh -huh. uh, last week. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I did know a student last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was not at home and on last week. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar. Okay. I didn't play soccer. Uh -huh. I didn't visit my family. No. No. Hay hay un problema. What is the problem? I didn't visit. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Yes, porque el didn't hace que es lo que hice, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Ah, espera. Que aquí le había puesto una cosa. I didn't visit my family. I didn't go to the beach. Okay, good. Rodrigo. Okay. Uh, I watched the football final on, sun, on Sunday. I shopped in the supermarket on Sunday, Monday. I visited the, I played with my daughter on Saturday night. Okay. Uh, Andrea. Affirmative or negative? Never. I watched a movie with my sister. I didn't go to the church. And I put it. ¿Cómo se dice? Put it. Así. De cortar. Cut. 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 Yes. Cut. Cut. I cut, cut my hair. You cut your hair. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 Edgar. Negative teacher. No les he hecho. Le quedo mal ahí. Le quedo mal. Es que me costado, teacher. Lo que tengas. Three. Uh, <laughs> bueno, dice el verbo go, dice I, I went on Saturday to see the opening of the Christmas tree in okay. El Salvador del Mundo. Uh -huh. I went out with my wife to do a lot of errands in the morning on uh -huh. Saturday. Uh -huh. Y I was, I was, no, es no. Mm. I, I didn't, I didn't not go to visit my father. Okay, good. I don't. Uh, la afirmativa, teacher. Whatever, okay. Okay, good. Uh, I played basketball with my co-workers and number two during during the afternoon, I taken a shower. Number three, after that, I went to visit my grandparents. Okay, only what? What, a, what is the pass of take? Uh, no, 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 no. What is the pass of take, people? Take, take, take. take. Oh. Sorry. No. no. Took. 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 Irregular verb. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Sorry, Blanca. I washed delicate clothes on Saturday. Okay. 
David, we lived with my two children and a restaurant. I exercised on the football field. Hey, good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alex. I installed the Christmas tree. Huh? I didn't play basketball. Huh? I did not exercise. Okay. Jocelyn. Me. Hmm? I visited to my mother in love on Sunday. I eat pupusas this last weekend. What? What? And what? 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 I, I'm not sure what is the pronunciation of it. Ah. it uh, eight. 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 I uh -huh. ate pupusas. And uh, I didn't talk with my cousin. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Fernando. Hi, teacher. Okay. Mm, sería, um, I didn't eat tacos. I didn't drink beers the weekend. I didn't swim at the weekend. And I didn't order my work files. Okay. Uh, Johnny. Hi, teacher. On Saturday, I went with my relative to Guatemala City. My wife and I visited the Van Gogh Exposition in Guatemala. Oh. My wife drove the car from El Salvador to Guatemala City. Okay, okay. Yeah. What is the path of drive, people? You know? Drive, drive it. Oh. Drove. Drop. Yeah, he's oh, okay. a my, my wife drove the car from El Salvador to Guatemala City. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. Hey, uh, who's missing? Uh, uh, Rafael. I went to buy food for this week. I stayed in a hotel for work. I didn't want the lottery. Uh, the last one again. I didn't win the lottery. Ah, Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. I want to show you this. Uh, because basically we have been working with the with regular verbs. Regular verbs are uh, the the past form. We usually add ed, yes, to to form the past for regular verbs. Remember that irregular verbs are completely different, yeah? Take, took, eat, ate, go, went. So they are completely different. Regular verbs, we only add ed, or sometimes only d, to the verbs. But the pronunciation is different. So there are three different pronunciations for this ed. One is id. Second is and third is d. d. So this is the pronunciation of ed. 
For example, want, wanted. The pronunciation is wanted. No wanted, wanted. Need, needed, needed. So all the verbs that end, que terminan en T or D, want, need, the pronunciation is wanted, needed. So ED sounds like ear. Okay? Okay, teacher. The verbs that end in P, K, F, G, H, S, H, C, H, double S, C, or X. The ED sounds like t. Helped, looked, sniffed, laughed, Washed, watched, kissed, danced, fixed. Okay? All the verbs that end with E, K, F, G, H, S, H, C, H, double S, C, X. The verbs that end in L, N, R, G, V, S, Z, B, and M, the ED sounds D. D. Cold, cold. Clean, cleaned. Offer, offered. Damage, damaged. Love, loved. Use, used. Amaze, amazed. Rob, robbed. Claim, claimed. So we have three pronunciations. None of them, ninguna, se pronuncia el. Ninguno. Nunca vamos a decir wanted, helped, called, nunca. Ok. Es mejor que se confundan usando cualquiera de estos tres a que digan el. Ya. Ahora, words that end in a vowel sound, los que terminan en sonido vocal, vowel sound, use the t pronunciation for ed. Follow, the pronunciation is, the, el sonido es u. Follow, followed. Enjoy, enjoyed. Play, played. Try, tried. Continue, continued. Okay? Any question with this? No, teacher. Is pronunciation correct? Is call it. Oh. No. Teacher. No. Cold. 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 Clean. 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 Cold. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice. Okay. Repeat. Want. Wanted. Want. Want. Wanted. Need. Needed. Need. Needed. Needed. Uh -huh. Help. 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 Look. 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 Sniff. 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 Laugh. Laughed. Laugh. Laughed. Wash. Washed. Wash. 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 Watch, 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 kiss, 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 
<laughs> dance. 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 Fix. 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 Uh, now the cold. 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 Clean. Cleaned. Clean. 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 Offer. Offered. Offer. Offered. Offered. Damage. Damaged. 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 Love, loved. Love, loved. Love, loved. Use, used. Used, used. Amazed, amazed. Amazed, amazed. Rob, robbed. Rob, rob, rob. rob. Claim. Claimed. Claim. 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 No, Claim. La, la E no suena. Claim. La E nunca suena la E. Claim. 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 Follow. Followed. Follow. 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 Enjoy. Enjoyed. Enjoyed Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Play, played. Play, played. Play, played. Play, tried. Try, 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 Continue, continue. Continue, Okay. Esta teacher. Cansado terminé después de esa pronunciación. <laughs> <risa> y ahora dice cuando los pronuncian rápido suenan siempre. Ajá. Pronúncelo rápido, por, dice, por favor. Como una oración. Ajá. Unas tres ser... algo seguidita, tírese así en, Hágalo como en que ametralladora. Se <risa> Ajá, a ver cómo se oye. Sí, sí, no, sí. En una oración. Ah, ahí lo va a oír bien porque puede bastante. Aquí dicen cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved. Used. Vaya Edgar. En práctica. En práctica. Probate. <ríe> Lo que sí que, no, que nunca se oiga es el, la, el, la E. El, el. Eso sí. No. Caldar. Lock. Lock. Está que sí. estaba zumbando a los Lock. oídos, ticho. Sí, sí, eso sí, no. No, pero se cansa uno, bien, se cansa, le está produciendo eso. <ríe> es que el aire como que lo tanca uno. Piche, te regalen esa seco. página para, para estudiarla bien. Ya la mandó en WhatsApp. Ya, it, ya, it ya. WhatsApp already. Ya, ahí está, ya captura. Y ah. hey, usted me acuerdo que no debe desde el año pasado, desde el ciclo pasado, los verbos hay por ahí. Ah, ok. Yo me acuerdo que se los pedí hoy, no tuviéramos pataleando tanto. Ah, sí, para las elecciones se lo pedimos, teacher. Sí, antes de las elecciones se lo pedimos, de veras. Y se cumplió el. el... Ajá. Que nos iba a mandar un link o algún lugar donde estuvieran los verbos más los cinco mil verbos más usados me acuerdo ¿no? ah, ya, vamos llevamos 20. solamente cinco mil quiere <risa> ok I'm going to share this link to practice this let me see Okay, let me share the link here in WhatsApp. Uh, no, here in Zoom. Teacher, share on WhatsApp, please. You are in Zoom right now. But then WhatsApp is very slow right now. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this is to practice pronunciation of ED. Aquí está la misma información, la regla. ¿Verdad? The sound. Vowel. Vowel. Luego acá, examples. Dice, Creo que eso me va a dar la... click, click to listen. ¿Verdad? Si lo pueden escuchar. Ahorita no lo oyen, pero, pero sí suena. Mm -hmm. 
Y el exercise dice, drag and drop the verbs according to their pronunciation in the past tense. Aquí tienen que colocar el verbo en el cuadro correcto. Voy a disminuir para que vean. ¿eh? Este, ¿dónde va? Aquí, aquí o aquí. That is the exercise. Okay. Les recomiendo sí, que lo escuchen sí, de, la, sí. de, la, de, la, de lo que acaba de mandar el teacher. Se escucha bien así, bien. Bueno, más que todo con audífonos tienen que escucharlo. Así. Es como que bastante definida la palabra. Es mejor. Let, let me see if I can play the sound. Yeah. Helped. Helped. Finished. Finished. Rubbed, rubbed, cleaned, cleaned, wanted, wanted, ended, ended. Okay. Ended. Ended. So well, this is to practice this. Ya suena menos cansado, ¿va? No, hombre, aquí ya vamos a aprender bastante con la pronunciación. Eso ayuda bastante, teacher. Ya, yeah, para que no se les oiga tan raro. Y lo que pasa es que también, quizás como, como desconocemos la pronunciación, por eso es que usted ve esa observación que nos corrige. Y es bueno eso. Que no pronunciemos la D al final, la E, que termine en wanted. Eso sí, no. Sí, sí, eso sí. Ya no voy a decir ni for speed most wanted. <risa> no. Por dos lo mismo. Está por pensando. dos. <risa> Eh, exactamente lo primerito que pensé yo. <risa> yes, sí, es. Ah, para que ya vayan este, sonando, sonando. A ver, yo ni la, la pronunciación correcta, ¿cómo va a decir ahora? Need for speed for wanted. <risa> Parecido, <Yeah>. pero igual. <risa> yes. Okay. O ya le va a andar diciendo a cada rato. <risa> The most wanted. <laughs> okay. Well, you see, that is a review. It's a repaso del simple past. So, que se supone que ya teníamos que saberlo nosotros. Bueno, ya, ya se vio. Pero, como les he dicho siempre, sí. va incrementando, va incrementando cada módulo. Está. Eh, a recordárselos porque ya sí ya lo vieron. Hey, ya finish class. No, no se siente el tiempo va, cuando yeah. está bien entretenido. It's time. Yes. Ok, let's take the last attendance of the evening. Wow. Well, Alex Gerardo Peña. Present. Ok. Ana Celia Mena. Present, teacher. Ah, eh, Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Iron José Villanueva. Present, teacher. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Edgar Eduardo García. Present, teacher. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present teacher. Ah. Wow. Eh, Glenda, the 10 minutes are for you. Pero no sé si los puede tomar ahora. Eh, sí, teacher, sí. Ok. Eh, Iván Alberto Castillo. Tony Alexander Escobar. Present. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez. Present. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Oscar René Molina. Present, teacher. Rafael Antonio Martínez. 
Present teacher. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present see you tomorrow. And Sandra Yanira Gomez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. Practice, practice, practice. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Hello, Glenda. Hola, maestro. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Bien, ¿hay algo que quiere que repasemos, que reforcemos? Mm, dice maestro que por el momento no me he puesto al día con las, las tareas. No, no, es, no he despejado dudas, pero ya primero de mañana lo voy a hacer. Ah, ok. Bueno. Sí, Así me el Bueno, entonces, este, ¿qué usted manda? De que reforcemos algo. ¿no? Sí, eh, quizás con lo de del dos y del tan, maestro. Okay. Entonces, para acá. Acá. Okay. So, esto es cuando usamos el simple present, ¿verdad? Para el do y el das. Básicamente como un auxiliar para formar preguntas y oraciones eh, negativas. En el caso no tengo preguntas. Ok, en uh, oraciones afirmativas, no, ¿verdad? Solo usamos el verbo ente. No. I study, you study, he studies, she studies, it studies, we study, they study. En afirmative sentences, básicamente solo hay un cambio acá con he, she, or it. ¿Verdad que a los verbos les agregamos ES? En este caso, cambiamos la Y por I y agregamos ES. He studies, she studies, it studies. Ahora, cuando vamos a formar eh, oraciones negativas. Me hace que no voy a buscar algo, pero mejor. Sí.
Okay. Ok, decíamos afirmativas, solo usamos el verbo en presente, ¿verdad? El ejemplo es con el verbo walk. I walk, you walk, he, she, it walks. Eso le agregamos ese, es con he, she, or it. We walk, you walk, they walk. Las oraciones negativas usamos ya el auxiliar do negativo. Don't walk. Es lo mismo que I do not walk. You don't walk o you do not walk. Cuando es he, she o it, el do se convierte en does. Does not. Entonces decimos doesn't. He doesn't walk. She doesn't walk. It does doesn't walk. De ahí con we, you y they volvemos al do. We do not walk. Walk. They do not walk. Entonces, el do y el does nos sirve primero para formulaciones negativas. El do lo vamos a usar con I, you, we, you, they. Y el das con he, she, it. Lo mismo. Cuando formamos preguntas. Eh, usar do con I, do, we y they. Eh. Where do I study English? Where uh, do you study English? Oh, wha, when do we study English? When do they study English? Okay, entonces el do lo usamos para formar preguntas. Siempre con do, con we, they, I, o you. Y el das a usar con he, she, it para formar preguntas. Ese es el uso del do y del das. Son simplemente auxiliares en este caso para formar oraciones negativas y para formar preguntas. El do cuando el el sujeto es I, you, we, they. Y el das cuando el sujeto she, es he, is, he. Is on this. Okay. Es el caso okay. del das. Siempre con she. cuesta escucharle bien Glenda por el audio ¿me escucha? sí sí, sí maestro sí, le, le escuché la, la, la explicación maestro es decir, queda un poco más claro Sí, sí, muchas gracias. Ay, ya con eso, pues ya me despeje esa duda. Y hoy a mañana me pongo al día con lo pendiente. Perfecto. Okay. Bueno, muchas night, gracias. Then. Good night, maestro. Bye bye. Bye.